Run is well, no longer monster. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode. This is our life. I'm tired, people. We stayed up. Uh, what time did we stay up? Till like 3 o'clock? Yeah. Stayed up till like 3 o'clock. Went in town, got a burger. Came back home, went to bed, got up. Afternoon sometime. My wife informed me that the county fair doesn't start till the end of this month. I thought it had already started. I was wondering why I didn't see stuff over there at the fairgrounds. So we won't be going to the county fair. We don't have the money to anyway. We, like usual, we spent our money, but I don't really have anything to say in this video. I just now our printer has died. Yeah, our printer has died. The priest from the Catholic Church over here said he's gonna we're gonna bury the the printer in in their graveyard. He's gonna do the ceremony. We're inviting uh, uh, a lot of people to to the to the funeral. Uh, if you'd like to come, you know, it's, there's no charge or anything. No, I'm going to take it out in the yard and shoot it with a Mosin. <laughs> the, uh, the funeral will be uh, this Sunday at 3 p.m. at the Catholic Church on School Street in Troy, New Hampshire. Um, anyway, so I just... We got our little one over here. Oh, she knocked over her toy. Uh -huh. We got her a bag of food. A box of litter. They don't have like the huge bags of kitten food. So I had to get a small bag of kitten food. I guess they think because they're small they don't eat a lot. No. So I'm watching a movie but I'm not really paying much attention to it. It's called the I think it says the Evil Dead. It's really not that interesting to you. And our prayer's not working. What's that? So these are for John. These, I'm going to send these to John. I need to get them sent pretty soon because he has a date on the 16th. So Hopefully it won't happen, but knowing Texas, it will. And, uh, We, uh, let's see what I did with it. No, it's a car key. Picked this up at the, at the store. Now, actually, it came with three batteries, but there are actually already batteries in it. There's that light and that light. Oh, boy, does she like that little red light. I wonder why I can't. Light. There she goes. She was giving herself a bath, and then she saw the light. You interrupted her. <laughs> I saw the light. <laughs> and Lucky kind of likes it as well. She's getting more and more comfortable with us. Maggie. Um, light. Catch it. Catch it. She's looking at me right now. Like, ooh. Right, she's looking at the light, right? Oh. Uh huh? <laughs> she says, yeah, hold on now. Lucky likes the light uh, uh, as well. This is what happened. I got up to go look for something in the bedroom. I come back in and she's laying down on the chair. She wouldn't get up. I had to pick her up. I actually started to sit down on her, just to, not to really sit on her, but so she trusts us enough not to hurt her because she just stayed there. She just kept laying on the chair. Um, I like how she looks around the corner at Lucky. You know, like, like is he coming over here? Or is he okay? What's he doing? <laughs> and um, the other day she walked up to him and sniffed the tip of his tail 
and she'll walk by him if she doesn't think he realizes it. She went into the bedroom by walking behind Lucky, but she kind of looked back, you know, once she got in there, she looked back to see if how things were. But, you know, something we both desperately need are eyeglasses, because I can't read anything, people. And, and mine are on the verge of falling apart. Yeah. You know, so I guess next month, you know what we're spending money on. If nothing else, we'll at least get the eye exams and get the prescriptions. I mean, we could do that and then wait a month to get the actual glasses. I want to be able to read. I can't read anything, people. I mean, this. This. The Illustrated Man. Watership Down. Up from Slavery, Booker T. Washington. I can't read anything. I can barely see much of anything. The only reason I can sort of tell what I'm typing on the keyboard is because the letters are larger than in a book. And I'm used to where the keys are. And sometimes I, I get, I put it this way. Once I get new glasses, my online spelling will improve at least a little bit. Right now, they're not good at all. But, um, no, she sees a bug. Let's see if, uh, let see, oh, it flew away. <laughs> She's you, following it. You definitely have her attention. Yeah. She goes, hmm. She's like, but when I go to get it, it I can't get it. Well, what did cats do before laser pointers were invented? <laughs> right? Yeah. Wow. So, and we got her a little, um, Catnip mouse, uh, non-stuffed cat mouse. Oh, she loves it. Yeah, she loves it. Um, so, hey Maggie, I think she's still getting used to us. I think maybe after a couple of weeks or so things will be a little different. Um, she loves her cat castle. She climbs up in that quite often. We're hoping she doesn't have to decide to do her have her kittens underneath the bed. Um, yeah, because we couldn't get there. We couldn't get to them. Well, we'd have to like take the bedroom apart. You know. Basically. Uh, we've put up on free cycle and we haven't received any responses. We need a love seat so we can move, like I've said in another video, so we can move the sofa down to the basement and we'll have room so we can sit together and everything won't be piled up on the sofa. We need things to like, we need cardboard boxes. I wonder if there's any way we can put shelves up in the, into this um, thing. In the closet. Book. Probably. The landlord may not like it, but... Uh, we need like shelving for the closet. I was thinking today, which we well, we could make better use of the bedroom closet that already has shelves in it. Yeah. Um, this door that goes from the kitchen to the living room, we can get brackets. You just need two brackets, one on either side of the doorway, and put a board up on top of that. We can store things and do the same for inside the kitchen, but I don't really want to do that because I'll be putting the holes in the landlord's property. Uh, I, it would be nice if we could get some, I don't know how you say, uh, racks, holders that we could put over kitchen cabinet doors, the whole like um, pots and pans, um, pot lids, pan lids, um, 
we just it, it's we have so much stuff and so little room and um, it's hard but um, we got this lovely neighbors yeah. don't even get us started on them mm. but um, you know we got one of the um, what are those things called the tunnels Cat tunnels. We got one of the cat tunnels and opened it up. She loves it. Yeah, and yeah, there are two of them. It she looks like a giant cat. Yeah, and the, the, the legs you could are also holes. And it even has a tail that sticks up in the air. Yeah. And the front of it looks like a cat's face. So we have one of those so she can play with it. Um, and it's down it's in the kitchen. Um, we got her some treats today, we got her some canned food, we got her some dry food, got her some litter. I think uh, she likes the chicken flavor things the best. Okay. Well, we didn't know. Yeah. Some now we cats did, are crazy about fish, some cats aren't. We didn't go to Petco because we don't have the money, but I wanted to see if she would eat duck or, you know, they have like, unique flavors and the, I forget what the brand is but it's not a cheap brand either and it's like I think two or three dollars for a little package of the moist food but my, my cat Bridget my eldest uh, oh gosh she loved duck all you had to do was say the word duck and you know she's like what uh, where where so she knew what duck was huh? oh yeah I, I could say quack quack or crack cracked up and she knew what that meant. Her eyes would light up. She had blue eyes, these beautiful blue eyes. Wow. Yeah, she was like, where? When I went to see my uh, dad's family in Canada in 94, I bought a package of salmon and I had bought it, no, it was a can of salmon and I had bought it for Bridget but my mother wound up eating it. It wasn't cat food. It was like buying canned tuna, but it was canned salmon. And I had bought it for Bridget, but like I said, my mother wound up opening it and eating it. I don't know if Bridget would have liked it or not, but... I think she was, your mother kind of lost it anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, back then she was better, but who knows Still when... Still not right. Yeah. You know. So, um... We have some sandals to send to my mother and the nursing home. They're sandal slippers, are they, right? Slippers. slippers. Um, not that she's going to know. She wouldn't know slippers from shoes, from boots, from anything else. For those who don't know, she has Alzheimer's. But um, my uncle and myself are the only ones who care. My sister. My sister lives there. And she doesn't go see her, doesn't call the nursing home to inquire about her. I do. When my wife and I went down to San Antonio, we went by the nursing home. My mother has never met my wife before. My wife had no obligation to go, but she went. And it, it was a pleasant visit. You know, I guess one positive thing, if there is such a positive, if there is a such a thing as a positive thing with Alzheimer's, is my mother seems nice now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like all those years of yelling and criticizing. Like, and, did somebody hit her on the head? <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay. Um, What's uh, wrong, mom? <laughs> yeah. Now, when we went, we went there, uh, she was at the other end of the hallway, and we walked up to her, and, you know, I had a long beard. She had never seen me in a beard that long before. It wasn't as long as it is now, but it was long and gray. And we had to tell her who we were, <coughs> which is fine, but we told her who we were. Well, some strange man walks up to you. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, uh, and now as huh? as we were leaving, 
she was commenting to one of the staff that that's my husband. Well, well, at least she recognizes he's a family, family member. Yeah. She divorced my dad in 1972, and my dad is buried in Canada. And my dad died in 1982, ten years after the divorce. Looking back on it, ten years is nothing. I see college kids and I call them kids. I used to be one of them. And I can guarantee you I hated being called a kid. Well, there she goes. She's going into the bathroom. Bedroom. I mean living uh kitchen. Well she was. Hey Maggie May. She thinks she owns the bathroom. Yeah. And she's giving herself a bath. Now, Lucky, see, Lucky likes to lay down. He's aggravated with us if we go in there to use the bathroom, too. Yeah. And hey, look, he, cat. Here's something interesting. Okay, my wife was uh, had the sink, uh, the water going in the sink. Running in the sink. And as the water went down the drain. She was watching it. And when I took a shower, she's laying on that toy of hers that has all the arms, like a spider, or octopus, and the shower curtains open about maybe that much on the end. And she's just laying there looking at me. Not wide-eyed, not closed, just looking at me. I have wet fingers. I go over there and touch her head. She's fine with it. I'm sure her head was getting wet from the spray, and uh, yet... Yeah. And she did, even when I was running the water, she tried to like put her paw in the water, and it was run into the running thing of water. Yeah, so it's like... But she's fascinated by water, kind of. Yeah. You know, the o my only cat that liked water was Brew. He would do this with his head and put it under the running water. <laughs> they have like really silky, uh, oily hair, I guess. So it just kind of runs off. It doesn't soak in necessarily. But uh, she hasn't done that yet. But I mean, she hasn't put her head under there like Brew would do. Now try to give her a bath, and that was another story. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um. Well, maybe this cured the problem. It's that oh. part is good. Like okay. it's good. Um. But um, she's over here laying down with her head up against the uh, CD cases. Now, Lucky likes to lay down over here. Over here. Over here. Between here and the bedroom. And sometimes she likes to go into the bedroom. Problem is, she'll look around this, this area over here. She'll look. <laughs> it's really cute, actually. And um, see if she can see Lucky and see what he's doing. Because he wants to play with her. He desperately wants to play with her. But she's like, no, I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. Eventually, they'll probably curl up together and cuddle. But right now... Um, but she'll go into the bedroom. The thing is, she does her best to avoid Lucky. Well? Which is hard to do because, oh, it's printing now. Because Lucky, right, perfectly. Because Lucky's right here, and she's afraid to go by him. She'll walk behind him. She's a smart kitty. I think she knows something happened to the software, maybe. Maybe. So you know, she knows to walk out of his line of vision. She's a smart girl. So anyway, don't call I'll, me dumb. <laughs> yeah. Just call me for dinner, but don't call me dumb. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um. Oh, so she likes this, but I'm not, she's napping, you know how cats like to take cat naps. <laughs> she's napping. Hello there. Hey, Maggie. You know, she looks a lot like Princess did. She has a little more white on her than Princess did, though. I think she's a typical calico. Yeah. So anyway, folks, this video is 20 minutes long, so bye-bye. I ordered 500 rounds of 223 ammo, and it's already been shipped. They're going to love that box.
Yeah, it's gonna be heavy. Uh, the, <laughs> ship, the shipping cost on it. I went with the cheapest shipping cost because there, there were two options: FedEx or UPS. The UPS was nineteen dollars and change. FedEx was seventeen dollars and change. I went with the FedEx. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so. The FedEx man better start weightlifting or something. Yeah. So that's gonna be a. He's probably gonna cuss you out. Yeah, probably so. Well, what was the the um, boxing stand? The UPS. Yeah, that one. I'm sure the guy about. They had a heart attack. So. Or, yeah. And it's downstairs, and I need to put it up, I guess. But, but we need a bigger place to live. Yeah, we have to have a bigger place to live. We need a house. Yeah. Basically. Both Maggie and Lucky would love more space. We would love more space. And if we could get a love seat, Maggie. that would be great. Well, anyway, I'm going to send this to Kitty Cat. To Maggie's uh, foster mom. Yeah, we're rattling on about everything. Yeah, so we're just so. Um, Anyway, bye.